Meanwhile, local community advocates and legal analysts are also keeping a close eye on the Chauvin trial. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us what they expect to happen and what complex legal issues could come up. Members of the jury. As the Derek Chauvin trial unfolds, community activists in San Diego say they're making a point to keep up with all of the developments. Tasha Williamson believes the outcome goes beyond a guilty or not guilty verdict. This trial um, will dictate um, whether or not police um, in the future uh, will get away with this type of uh, brutal murder um, of black men. Um, this trial will set a precedence, um, letting police officers know um, that either it will not be tolerated or that it is acceptable. But criminal defense attorney David Shapiro says it's not that cut and dry. So they're going to look at the autopsy. They're going to look at fentanyl use. They're going to look at an underlying heart condition. They're going to look at a recent diagnosis of COVID. They're going to look at all of these things and then some to argue that even if Chauvin was one of the potential causes, he wasn't the only cause beyond a reasonable doubt. In the weeks and months following the death of George Floyd, the local Black Lives Matter organization participated in a number of rallies in San Diego, voicing their concerns about injustice and police brutality, and they're hoping it's justice will prevail in period. the courtroom. Have an expectation uh, that the jury will see the footage um, of him committing the act, um, will recognize that it is him uh, who has committed the act um, and will find him guilty. But Shapiro adds it will be up to the jury Agents to decide if they can convict beyond a reasonable doubt. Is that evidence enough beyond a reasonable doubt to convict Derek Chauvin of second degree murder, convict him of third degree murder, or convict him of second degree manslaughter? No matter what we as the public may think is the appropriate outcome, it's going to be the law, it's going to be the evidence that gets in before that jury. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.